Hello viewers, Sriram Kumar here. This is from Sri Learning and uh, we keep giving more success stories. Uh, success stories is all about how a person uh, traveled on this path. Uh, it's not about just copy paste what a person did. It's about to see, uh, can I take something from this which can help us? So on this order, we have a Krishna who cleared PMP on 22nd of September. Uh, he's, a, he's a more uh, dedicated person towards subject. I found him listening to the classes carefully. He will ask questions very clearly. And until you get the answer, you won't leave. <laughs> so you'll ask again, Shiram, what I mean is. <laughs> so that's a good nature of understanding things in depth. That's very important. So what we're going to understand from him is how he prepared, how he gets certified. And the first thing, congratulations, Krishna, for this wonderful achievement. Hey, Shiram, thank you. Thank you for the introduction. And also, uh, uh, thank you very much for the wishes. Great. So we'll see the certificate. Okay, that's uh, yeah, sure. orange one, which we love to see. Right here it goes. And uh, I'm sure at least for a week or a month of time, it will be a little more pressure at your side, isn't it? To work out, focus on this, and uh, make sure yes, it happens sure. on that day. Um, even though we practice management at the corporate, uh, to convert that into a question and answer and make it rightly answer, I, I think it needs a little effort. Right? That's, that's a way you that's do true. it. Appreciate it. So, give a little Thank background you. of yourself, and uh, then we'll get inside. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, I have uh, close to 16 years of uh, experience in the IT industry. I have started off as uh, embedded software professional uh, initially with Wipro Technologies in Bangalore, uh, way back in 2005, um, and uh, later uh, I switched to uh, General Electric GE. Uh, also there as well, I worked as a software technologist. Um, and uh, afterwards, uh, I happened to work with a couple of French companies. One is Atos and the other one is Aussie. Aussie. Um, and uh, uh, so in Atos, I was also working as a uh, software uh, professional. So till then, I worked as a, a hardcore developer. And later wow. point of time, I switched my line to sales and business development. Oh. So, yeah, this is something uh, many people, they keep asking me also, why this line switch and all this. Uh, it was both by choice and chance uh, that uh, I have to pick up this role uh, in Aussie. Uh, that is also a French uh, MNC. So they started off with uh, a new investment in India at that point of time. They were not uh, present in India. And then uh, uh, in 2012, they have started off with a small entity here in India. And then uh, uh, they wanted some uh, avionics engineers. So from Atos, uh, 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 one of my manager, he also moved to Aussie. And then I also moved along with him. And then uh, we were uh, trying to set up a new uh, team there. So during that time, uh, they also wanted to start, along with the cost center, they also wanted to start a profit center. So mm -hmm. for the profit center part, uh, I took the role of a business development uh, executive. Uh, role. Wow. wow. So you're the door opening guy by the time. For them the exactly, the yes. Exactly. So for the sales and business development uh, uh, for that particular company at the point of time, yeah, uh, I was chosen. And uh, yeah, uh, we, we struggled. Uh, we did a very good job there. Uh, after uh, some time, uh, when uh, many customers, they were asking uh, some request management, you know, for example, the RFPs, RFQs and all those, right? So uh, during that time, I used to work with my peer project managers. And uh, we used to build the responses to the customer. At that point of time, I was fascinated by the knowledge of uh, uh, project management because uh, my uh, peer project management uh, project managers they used to uh, talk about this uh, PM book language. Okay. So that was the first time I got to know about uh, uh, what exactly are the contents of this uh, PM book and all those. I used to ask them. Uh, uh, and then uh, uh, they they told me about this PM book, and uh, I have first bought the book of uh, PM book five version five, and oh. then started to build my knowledge about it. Okay. Being okay. a sales guy, but I was also reading the uh, you know the PM book uh, five. Mm -hmm. okay. So when I started to develop more in depth uh, uh, understanding about uh, those things and also about uh, the terminology of project management as well. I uh, I really liked and uh, got inclined towards it. And then uh, I thought uh, after working for four years as a sales and business executive, then I thought, okay, why don't I try as a project manager and uh, project and program management because I was liking it so much. And then uh, I applied uh, uh, through Naukri. I got a, a contact uh, from Bosch, Robert Bosch uh, in Bangalore. 
and then um, uh, they were asking for an entry level project manager i thought mm -hmm. okay let me just try because i i had some knowledge of uh, reading uh, through pm book right so um, i tried it and uh, i cracked it wow so wow. that's when uh, the doors sort of opened as a project manager for me cool right the book knowledge plus your practical knowledge of course you had some practical yes. knowledge as well, right? yes. so that's, that's really good look at the way things are changing right as a core developer yes. you're really getting into the nice yeah. interesting interesting nice to know thanks for sharing that info and uh, again you moved to a level desired like to do a certification you, you didn't yes. start then it is pmbox 6 came into market and uh, yes. now the pmp changed into a little more agile addition right So, so when is when did the start came? Yes, I had to get certified. Yeah. Uh, so while I was working in Bosch, uh, initially we uh, I was exposed to uh, uh, projects which are part of larger programs. Oh. So I was a software project manager, and um, uh, there are some uh, we were working on this IoT kind of products. uh where we have uh, uh, different uh, entities of uh, software itself for example we have a edge uh, which is an embedded device uh, a mobile apps and also the cloud so all three were part of one bigger uh, program uh, uh, which were running in bosch so that has given me a very good uh, overview about uh, the complete project and program management there for the first 2 uh, years after spending 2 years in bosch they made it mandatory for all the project managers to get certified by pmp <laughs> yeah initially it was not there when i joined okay later they made it uh, mandatory it was it has become like a career option for me that i have to pass this uh, uh, certification also uh, but what has happened is uh, after 2 years um, uh, i have been chosen to travel to germany uh, regensburg uh, uh, in uh, which is the southeast part of uh, uh, germany and then uh, we went there and then uh, i was uh, setting up the uh, teams from uh, transforming the teams from waterfall to uh, uh, the complete agile teams Uh, software teams uh, so that's when uh, the transformation of the agile also has come into picture so uh, as i traveled there i couldn't complete my certification uh, during that time because i had an another assignment in hand right right yep. got you got you okay it's all uh, kind of uh, what is a need of the time and then by need the time of the time. Time, so it didn't happen but in india we decided let me make it okay yeah. so since yeah. you read from fifth edition um do you think that you got a good basement of knowledge when you came for the, the exams right now no actually i would say that um, uh, i was reading not for the exam right so i was just reading just for the knowledge purpose uh, and i was not reading cover to cover also i just read only those areas for example when i was a sales guy i used to read more into procurement part because i can learn something about uh, the different engagement models that i can do it with, with customers like t and m or uh, you know uh, cost plus models or something like that um, so only like choosy i used to do it even when i was a initial project management uh, uh, professional also i used to choose only those things which are required for me i know where it uh, where i can go find those information for example i have to create a wbs i used to go and only read those things and then implement something like that but never did a cover to cover kind of a uh, methodology earlier the structured way of doing it i did only after joining your uh, uh, you know your training your coaching yeah otherwise i never did it earlier nice 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 you know So let's understand a little bit about exam preparation. So, which book was your favorite, and uh, which book you read? Rita, Rita Mulke is uh, something which I read. Yeah, good book, right? It explains it well. Of course, yeah. uh, PMP PMBOK language that has some standard. If you go through that, uh, it has some standard. And did you refer through Agile Practice Guide? Yes, yes. No. There's two books you read. Very good. So, it, does it take some weeks of time for you to complete the content? How long you are reading? What was the reading habit for you? Uh, agile yes of course uh, anything related to agile i used to read a lot excuse me uh, and um, uh, like my griffith also i read a little bit earlier also uh, this is the two things which i'm uh, which i'm aware of but rita i never read uh, wow. so this is the first time that uh, after joining your course i ordered that book and then uh, and then i started to read it okay good i think uh, reading in a hard copy makes better for us that's right yeah yeah exactly yeah i uh, i even love uh, to carry a hard copy and then read it because uh, that gives more connect rather than yeah digital way of uh, doing it you also do marking on that putting uh, yes yes i take a highlighter and then i keep uh, marking and okay. that has really helped me also just before the exam as well yeah nice to nice to know so how is the exam plan for you? was it uh, center based or it's online proper exam how do you plan your exam 
yeah uh, i have to tell you one more small story which, uh, before this uh, i this is the second time that i am attempting the pmp not the first time so when i came back from germany i uh, um, uh, i thought of writing the pmp and then i started to prepare uh, while i was in bosch um, at that point of time i couldn't do it because i took another career move uh, coming to netherlands um and then uh, uh as i took up the new uh, new roles here uh, i didn't find time and i couldn't do it but i already paid my examination fees by then uh, so all these things were coming you know uh, overlapping uh, for me and then i couldn't do it and i just went ahead and then wrote with whatever knowledge that i have and i uh, i uh, obviously i couldn't uh, pass it uh because it was not a structured way of uh, reading or something like that then uh, later point of time i saw one of your ad uh, 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 and then and then uh, uh, i i also went through one of your uh, uh, mock sessions i really liked it because uh, what a, you were fascinated but uh, i really like the way that you are uh, teaching and also the voice that uh, that uh, that that you have you know you have a blessed voice um, yeah. for some yeah. lecturers right so we we have a sort of uh, affiliation you know uh, when they speak it directly gets into your head <laughs> <laughs> so it was always it was like that for me uh, when i was uh, listening to you and uh, uh, in fact i told my wife also that you know i really liked uh, you know the way that he was explaining and his voice is like you know it's 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 it's, it's base and i'm i'm directly getting into it i will i'm going to join the join this uh, sri lanka for sure okay that's a good uh, <laughs> thanks for that uh, does it continue after joining <laughs> yes, yes of course yes yes Uh, yeah yeah it, it was amazing it was an amazing journey i would yeah, say yeah thanks for that and uh, yeah good good to know that you got the classes because i found you in the classes you asked good questions i know that whenever you ask questions that is solid question because if you would have read the book already there are only two people three people in the batch will go deep the question if not there will be a high level okay so, i found you joining lot of weekly test so uh, yes I, i think you had that commitment on saturday sunday you set for the weekly test hmm. i think uh, that's a good thing you did because uh, that's a helping point or booster point for our preparation Uh, that that really helped me also i would say yeah uh, because uh, it's a, it was a very systematic way of uh, um, uh, you know it's a part of your uh, you know uh, uh, preparation also i would say uh, and also it's very systematic and uh, directly uh, getting into four hours of test is different and uh, preparing yourself in uh, in in uh, you know like for one hour test or something like that right and that really helps that's a lot yeah. so how's the exam uh i i somehow felt it was tougher than uh, you know the uh, any of the mock tests that i attended uh, uh, even the uh, pmi study hall that's how i felt uh, especially the time management part of it yeah in fact the last minute uh, i i saw the time and then i submitted oh. the last question last minute it was like that say, look like i feel last ball last run <laughs> oh, it, it's yeah it's almost like that yeah <laughs> i keep listening this time management is a crucial in uh, pmp exam uh, because sometimes the questions are getting lengthy so uh, we take time to read it twice or thrice so that each a time or sometimes question being smaller answers are being lengthy so you have to read all the answers to then get it again one more time so it eats some time okay i understand it's pretty little tough for you but at the same time you did you found mathematics questions or uh, anything on the calculations you were as no okay not no. much not much that's clear and but you would have faced a lot of hybrid questions in the sense of yeah, a project moving from predictive to agile okay. i would say at least 25 to 30 percent are uh, hybrid uh, questions oh okay okay but each question will shuffles because we don't know the same happens to other person some says agile is very hard some says predictive mm-hmm. side okay great mm-hmm. but now um, a person like you who is uh, uh, from a different domain or uh, um, they work from uh, engineering then they move to sales they go to management track there are many people in this category coming in so if you want to give some tips to them how to prepare for the examination what kind of mindset you want to give to them um okay uh, i had some uh, prior experience of uh, reading the pm book but uh, someone who is starting afresh right so i would say rita mulke is uh, is a preferred book um, because i li- i liked it uh, when i was reading and i read cover to cover at least two times wow 
Yeah. Uh, and uh, th this is one uh, one tip which I would like to give from the uh, book preference point of view. Uh, the second thing is uh, uh, definitely the practice tests uh, in RETA. Uh, those are uh, uh, those are uh, up to the standard of uh, the exam. So uh, don't miss that. It is very very important uh, to do, to do those things. Um, and uh, the third uh, thing which I would like to tell is um, uh, also the Mike Griffith uh, is uh, nice. So uh, yeah, uh, yeah, agile. Uh, that would also come handy, uh, you know, uh, in the exam uh, for sure. I uh, know uh, if we can read at least the first five chapters, I think it is really good. Yeah, so that's a, yeah, that's a decent one. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Good, good thoughts. So reading Rita and uh, taking practice test in Rita itself. And again, uh, reading Mike is really good. And again, uh, time management, you should be watchful. That's a message. Yes. Uh, uh, you remember, right? So a day before I, I spoke to you also, and you said 90, 70, 70. I just followed that. That's all. So uh, I was I was calculating. Uh, the first time I took a break was at 90, exactly 60 questions I completed. Um, yeah. Uh, and it was on dot. It was like that. Um, and uh, the, sec the second the uh, second one, I just little lapsed. You know, uh, instead of 70, I took around uh, 73 minutes or something. Then the pressure started to build up within me. Uh, once I go back, uh, whether I'll be able to do it or not, or something like that. Um, I took a, a deep breath there, and then uh, uh, the next one, I I made sure that you know I uh, little accelerate uh, you know better for the next uh, part of the uh, 60 questions. So when you say break, I think you are in center-based exam, right? You went center-based, uh, yes, yes, yes. So they, I think they have some facility to come out, take a sip of water, and uh, yes, yes, it was, it was. That really that, helped also. Yeah. Refreshment needed. Take a fresh air and come back. Uh, that gives energy for us. Very good. Nice to yeah. nice. Super. Thanks a lot for uh, the inputs, uh, Krishna. Really helpful for the people uh, because people watch these videos um, to get. Can I get some tips from here? When they listen a story from me, they'll get, I'm also like that. I started TikTok five some years back, but I didn't read further. So they try to see similarities. So thanks, true, to, true. Uh, thanks to share the details. And all the viewers who are watching this, good wishes to your preparation. And uh, give your likes and comments for Krishna for this wonderful achievement. You can see him moving different levels, right? He is a code developer, then to save, then to management, then to a different country. I think that's, that's something like uh, reinventing ourselves. Uh, I keep saying that uh, don't stop somewhere, keep expanding. Try it. Fail, that's okay. But try. You should not feel bad after years. I didn't try. <laughs> you should say, okay, I tried. <laughs> I tried it, right? So I like that way of doing things. Again, he went into PMP, made sure he gets certified. So good wishes, Krishna. Keep rocking more, keep growing more in your career. Thank you. Thank you, Sriram. Thank you very much for this wonderful opportunity. And it was uh, wonderful knowing you also. Uh, amazing uh, coaching uh, uh, which I've got and uh, that has really you know put me into that uh, structured uh, way of uh, doing things yeah nice. thank you very much thanks a lot and uh, we'll catch up on some other success story in uh, any other certification model sure sure definitely definitely my pleasure sure. thanks a lot have a great day you too huh? take care bye bye, bye, -bye.